Morning everybody, today is my first day in Edmonton, the capital city of Alberta. And uh, right now I'm at Edmonton West Mall. I'm excited for shopping, but at the same time, not really. Anyway, we'll see what Edmonton West Mall has to offer. Okay, this pirate ship thing looks really, really cool. Cool, there's an ice cream down here as well. I guess on hot summer days, one of the best places to be like skating in the mall and in the middle of an ice rink. Okay, so this is where you find like the amusement park rides around here. Well, at least a miniature version of it. I'm guessing you buy tickets here? There's more of the... Roller coaster track with the galaxy over there. But look at this one. This red one over there. Okay, it looks intense, even for an indoor roller coaster. Galaxy Land. Seems interesting, but just not in the mood for a ride, that kind of stuff as well. Like, I gotta what, admit, like, what's up into Mall is pretty cool, but I don't know if there's anything I'd be interested in, that kind of stuff. Like, I could try ice skating, but I don't think I have enough time for that. So, right now, I'm just gonna sit in the food court and just have lunch and basically try to be on my way. So this is my lunch, it's like Korean barbecue beef with some potatoes and spring rolls as well, vegetarian spring rolls and rice. So I got it from this like food stall stand which is pretty good, 16 bucks including the tax. So I guess one of the cool places of um, was Edmonton Mall and something that reminds me of home is the Hot Topic there. It's actually a funny story. My a friend used to introduce me to Hot Topic when, I guess a few years ago, back in 2017, because I was really into Riverdale. I am still am. And since then, there's a Hot Topic in my local area, and which I go there almost every day to see what's up, and they have new, new products, or what's up with the employees as well. It's kind of my favorite place, so like a home away from home, like my third home or something. And every time I go in a hot topic, I always feel like rejuvenated and like recharged or something. I guess I like all the style there, and I guess I like the environment since I have hot topic. So yeah, hot topic has been officially one of my favorite top stores to go to, especially when I like to like see what's new in the pop culture stuff, like TV series. Um, I'm guessing some music. Ooh, anime like Attack on Titan. Yeah. So anyway, this is West Edmonton Mall and right now I'm heading to my other attractions. I'll see you guys then. 
So this is downtown Edmonton, or part of it. And behind me is a really cool place for a photo opportunity called the Neon Sign Museum. So over here it features different s signs and they're obviously neon as well. So I just checked the Edmonton site and according to them, they said the best place to take photos around here is like around like dusk or like nighttime to see like the more of the glowing effects. But I'm here in the afternoon or so, so I won't be able to see that. But it's still very beautiful. That guitar there looks very, very nice though. I do like how the light effects like make it look like if someone's actually playing the electric guitar. Ooh. Some in, um some information about it. George Claude is credited with developing the first neon lamp by applying an electrical discharge to a sealed tube of neon gas. This produced a glowing red effect, but other colors can be created by using different gases such as agnon and mercury or helium. Ooh, it was in, it, the invention was unveiled in 1910 in the Paris Expo. And in 1915, um, and in 1915, and introduced the first neon sign in North America in 1923. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. For using different type of gases, I wonder if that's similar to like fire as well, because like the thing is, different types of metals can produce like a different color of flame. I'm not exactly which one's for sure, but it's quite interesting how different gases can give like different um, different colors of the neon light. This is another area that you can visit in Edmonton, the Capitol Building area or Legislation or however it's called. Unfortunately, today I couldn't visit the visitor center because it looks like there were some renovations over there. But what is a great place to visit in the Edmonton Legislation is basically this little park. So behind this building, where this park lays, you'll be first greeted by this torch that's in the middle of this pavement area. And then behind that torch, continuing on, it's going to be another path that leads down to the end of the road over there. Well, further away, it's quite an interesting surprise. Although the park is very small, it is a very nice place to walk because it feels so calm. Like, calm in the city, not exactly calm where I feel when I was hiking back in Banff and Jasper. And then the near at the end of the day after the registration building, I just decided to have a drive around Edmonton City. For a downtown core, it was pretty nice with a lot of hockey signs as well.
I'm guessing it was like another hockey night game there, like back in Jasper. But in any case, it was starting to get late, so at that point, I decided just to keep going out and eat. So Edmonton experience, it's interesting, I have to say. I mean, I do enjoy the neon sign lights museum. I also think like the university was cool. Well, technically I just passed by the university and the stadium over there, but kind of hoping for a little bit more cool excitement as well. But too bad the legislation building has been closed due to the fact that the place I think needs to be repaired or renovated. Not so sure where to do a go on those sidelines. But in any case, Edmonton seems pretty nice. I just wish there was a little bit more excitement into the city, yet. that kind of thing. But anyway, I'm going to also post a Calgary vlog as well, including this video because like they're main cities and I'm a city boy after all. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next segment.